Hi, I'm Keith Moon. I'm the manager of the Eastern Mountain Sports Climbing School in North Conway, New Hampshire. We're gonna take a look at what a standard equipment looks like for all of our winter activities. First, we're gonna take a look at some of the clothing that you'll utilize for any of our winter activities. All of the clothing systems start with a base layer that goes next to your skin and helps to wick away moisture. That can be a synthetic or wool, top and bottom. On our upper body, you'll then go a mid-layer. This can be a mid-weight fleece or a small puffy coat. That'll help to keep us warm while we're going. On top of that, we're gonna add a hard shell jacket, something that's windproof and waterproof. On our lower body, we'll need a high quality pair of pants, whether they're ski pants or climbing pants, hard shells or soft shells, something that'll work like that. Last, we have a puffy coat that goes on over the top of everything. This we'll utilize during breaks or while we're hanging out to help keep us warm and keep the psych high. Be sure to check out our video on layering to have a better idea of what's gonna best work for you. We'll take a look at some of the gear that you'll need to bring with for any given day. Again, this is gonna be kind of a standard kit for a lot of our adventures, you may need to add some things to it. Be sure to take a look at the gear list for what you're gonna do. That'll give you a better idea of what other items you'll wanna bring with this. We'll start from our head down. On our head, we'll wanna wear a stocking cap, whether it's wool or synthetic. Ideally, it's something that'll fit well underneath a helmet. To go with that, a lot of our guides will utilize a buff. This is kind of like a neck gaiter, but it'll kind of sit around your neck to help keep you warm. You can pull it up to help cover your face when the wind picks up. Moving down, we'll get into gloves, and gloves can be a tricky part of winter climbing. Some days we'll bring as many as four pairs, depending on what we're doing. But at a minimum, we'll need to have a light pair and a heavy pair. The lighter pair may be a soft shell glove with a leather palm, something that has a lot of dexterity and is easy to climb with. We'll also then want to pair that with a heavier weight glove with more insulation. While we're hanging out, this can be nice to wear, or if it is really cold while we're climbing, we'll put these on. Getting down to our feet then, we'll wear a pair of high quality wool or synthetic socks. The big thing here again is no cotton. To go with our feet, we'll also need a pair of gaiters. This is a kind of burly waterproof material that'll go around our ankles to cover our boots and our pants. That'll help protect your pants from getting holes in them from the crampons. It'll also keep your feet a little bit warmer and keep some snow out of your boots. Some of the personal items you'll want to bring for the day are obviously water, you know, one or two liters, depending on how much you think you might drink. A wide mouth bottle is the most ideal choice. To go with that, you'll want to get an insulator to help keep the water from freezing. If you don't have an insulator, you can use just a pair of socks. An insulated water bottle or a, uh, a hydro flask can be a great choice to bring some hot tea or coffee while you're out there. Really nice way to kind of pick up in the middle of the day. To go with that, we'll want to bring plenty of high calorie, tasty food that's easy to eat. You might want to bring kind of a personal first aid kit as well, something that has ibuprofen, uh, blister care, and band-aids in there. Your guide will be carrying a more extensive first aid kit, so something like this just for personal use can be perfect. You'll definitely want to either bring your phone or your camera with you, that way you can take plenty of pictures and show everybody what you did with us. Last then, you'll need to bring a medium-sized day pack, something in the 30 to 40 liter range. That'll work well to fit all the equipment in there, but can be still be used to climb with. I hope this video helped clarify some of the items that we're hoping for you to bring with you. Again, if you have any other questions on what to bring for your specific trip, feel free to email us at schools at ems.com. Thanks.